What's up, people? Welcome back to Reacting to Bad Magic again. My name is Chris Ramsey, and for those of you who are new to this channel, this is, uh, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing anymore. But seriously, this is a channel about magic. We sometimes feature magic tutorials and how-tos, performances, tips, stuff like that. But every now and then, we take a subjective look at our own kind and poke fun at magicians because let's face it like a lot of fucking magicians are really lame and they're easy to laugh at now i know what you're thinking well chris you said you'd make a bad magic video about yourself well i will currently compiling all the bad footage of myself so I can laugh at myself. It'll probably be my favorite episode. But a lot of you guys have been really generous in sending me like loads and loads of actual performances that are crap and funny. So I just had a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna throw this together right now. I'm sorry, it's so fucking rude that I'm eating. I've not done a stage illusion one yet and I thought I'd get to it because there are a lot of funny ones out there. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is gonna suck. Swear to God, I'm not gonna laugh. Here's the first video. This probably won't even be funny. Cause I'm, I'm just not gonna fucking laugh. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's not fair. You can't, you can't fucking start. You can't start with Kartek. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair. That's, that's cheating. Kartek is like free humor. Can we just look at this dance move one more time? <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh. I'm gonna watch this again. I'm not gonna laugh. Can't do it! Kartek, we'll get back to you later. I can't watch you right now. Let's go check out his videos, by the way. Remember this guy? Remember Kartek? From the first one? He was at like 17 subscribers. What you at now? Whoa, what the fuck? Kartek, 96, bro. Boom, gave you some love. Added to my liked videos. He does look like a nice guy. I feel kind of bad for laughing at his videos, but. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get down. All right, next video. Whoa. <laughs> Is that the catch me outside, girl? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? How about that? How about that? That's her. Here we go. We got the Hasselhoff. This guy's like a time traveler. Oh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a fumble there. Oh, oh Shimshi! Shimshi's pointed out. A little bit of a flash. I caught it. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop! <laughs> Maybe you can save it. Maybe you can save it. Let's see. Let's see what the judges have to say. I love. <laughs> Judges, what do you have to say? Thank you very much. Can I ask you, Dwayne? I mean, you made a few mistakes there, right? The illusion went perfect. <laughs> what? The illusion went perfect. That's one of the problems I have with magicians. You fucked up. Bro, you fucked up so hard. Like, that was clearly lay people all over the world were like, he fucked up. The illusion went perfect. I'm just gonna stare at you like a fucking creep until you agree with me. The illusion went perfect. The illusion went perfect. Here we go. This might actually, this might actually be good. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Fucking eats it. <laughs> All right, next video. What do we got? Oh no, please. No, not another one. Not another one. <laughs> I already know where this is going. Please let it be his hand. Please let it be his hand. Well, he's got the blindfold, so it's probably his hand. Okay, here we go. Am I exactly above? Don't do it. Do not! Oh! 
Oh, look at this. Goosebumps. Oh! Next video, please. All right, here we go. This one is a stage illusion. So I'm guessing it's a transposition effect where the the magician switches places with the assistant. Everything seems to be going fine so far. A little bit of a hiccup. Can't find the hole. Okay, got it. Now the assistant's supposed to bring, yep. There we go, and covers herself up, yep. And on the count of three, they're supposed to switch places. Here we go, one. Two, oh, there it is, oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> How is he gonna recover? Okay, let's go back and see what went wrong here. Yeah, let's start over. Ready? Here we go. Give me the thing, Laura. Right, here we go. And he's like, oh yeah, and then drops it. This is the funny part, where he tries to chase her with the blanket to make it seem like nothing happened. <laughs> he chases her, he's like, oh, nope, covered her up. The illusion went perfect. So Should we maybe look at, uh, let's bring back Kartek. I love this guy. Oh, that was not a switch. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just gonna pour some bleach in here. I guess I'm gonna throw a dove at the camera. Hey, got him. Throwing fly, well, oh, of course. How did I not see it coming? <laughs> I love how he's like, I love how he's like, let me just get, let me just get a quick puff. Let me just get another quick, this is a really good cigarette right now. The cigarette's fucking life right now. Let me just get another puff of it. Watch, watch how he goes back. He's like, all right, this, this is a real cigarette. See, here we go. Let me just, uh... <laughs> oh, Kartek. If you guys missed that, watch where he threw a cigarette and watch where he stomps it out. All right, another little drag. Ooh, yeah, it's good. Here we go, throw it over there. <laughs> Now you don't just mime putting out a cigarette for no reason. There's a reason why you do that motion, is to actually put it out. If you're gonna throw a cigarette on the ground, put it out! You're gonna burn the place down, Kartek. <laughs> oh, yes! And on that note, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing for this edition of... Okay, one more. Oh, is this a... Oh, this is a trailer? What's that? From the beginning, I don't want to say anything about the trick, so let's check out the performer first. And now, let's do a very interesting magic trick, okay? Mm. Now, please think of number of words or symbol pattern or anything about, okay? That'd be great. Yes, yeah. okay. Alright, finish. Uh, so, this is a product trailer. Uh, this is a magician trying to sell his magic trick. Why do I feel like she's like, she feels like her life's being threatened at this very moment? If she doesn't react and give him a good reaction, he's just gonna like shove her down those stairs. <laughs> okay, we got some random cards, here we go. Gotta love the saxophone solo in the background, the old Cosby soundtrack. Sounds like one of those, you know, like fam Full House or Family Matters saxophones. Look through the card, okay. Each card. Okay. Now, please choose any one card you like. This might be his mom. This might be his mom, just saying. This might be your mom. He's like, mom, just, just don't say a word. Just say yes and no. Just go, go along with the trick. I have a pen. I'm sorry, what was that? I have a pen. Okay. Huh. Okay, so she's thinking of something. She's gonna write it down in the middle of the card. I'm with you. What's that? Okay, so he's asking her to place the. This so far seems really fair. So like, good on you, man. This is this looks like a good effect. The trailer is complete shit, but this looks like a good effect. Put up, put up, and put the card. What? What was that? How's going on there? Like some type of like stroke. Here we go. Up one, two, down, up, no, here, up. That was 
I think you, I think this could be a good effect. Um, get rid of all that. You have job fooling about. Apple. Did you catch it? I have a pen. I have a apple. Uh. Apple pen. This trick, each of the movement was completely natural. What? Okay, no, they were not. You can't say that this. Here, hold the card. Hold it higher. That's not natural movement. I'm not so much gonna rip on you for the effect, because the effect is whatever. But damn, dude, like if you're if you're gonna like release stuff in the world and like put it out there forever, you might want to just consider like okay. Consider many things that you haven't considered, obviously, like the music, the spectator, like obviously that's like your mom or your aunt or somebody you like close, to, like you obviously didn't find her in the street and bring her into your living room. And this is your mom's living room. But we did get one good thing out of this trailer. I have a pen. I have a apple. Uh, apple. Penoftalina. Got him. All right, guys. Whoa. That's it for the third edition of Reacting to Bad Magic. Urgh! I hope you enjoyed that. I sure as fuck did not. No, but I did, honestly. These these things are pretty funny. They're funny to they're funny to watch and they're fun to edit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys said like, I wanna react to great magic. Like first there's two problems with that. One, they're not funny. So I'm not gonna laugh at great performances. And then, so just to look at them and be like, oh, well this, this and, and pick out stuff like, it's just weird and it's not me. It's not It's not what I feel like doing. And second of all, most of the great performances have copyright. So probably my videos would get flagged left, right, and center if I did that. So I couldn't add the mid rolls. So as I said, I will be posting a video on myself reacting to bad Ramsey magic. Also, I've been meaning to put together a roast video. So I asked you guys to roast me on Instagram and like a lot of them came in. I got like. 400 comments within an hour. So I screenshot all of them. I'm putting them together now and we're gonna roast my ass in one of the videos. But I think next video might be another little tutorial or maybe like some performance. We'll see, we'll get there. Guys, thanks so much for the love in the last video I posted as well. The whole exposure on YouTube and stuff. Uh, it was an issue that I still take to heart even today and I try not to, but it gets hard when a lot of people just form opinions on, on things they're not informed with, you know, and, and I'm not saying I, I have all the answers, but I am saying that my opinion matters as well, especially because um, I've grown a following that's in magic. So I feel like I have a responsibility to you as well and try and, and, and sort of, you, you guys know what I'm saying, I hope. But anyways, thanks for that. Uh, the heartfelt messages that I received, I read like literally 90% of them and it's just, it was overwhelming. You guys are really, really an amazing uh, bunch of people and I'm so glad that you guys are subscribed to me and I'm so glad that you get what I'm trying to do with this channel. I'm happy you understand it. That's all I got for this episode. So stay tuned for the next one, Reacting to Bad Magic 4. Probably be with this guy, uh, maybe in a week or two. I don't know, I got some other video ideas I wanna do in the meantime, but always so glad that you guys are here with me and we'll see you on the next video. Let's go.